What's up guys, welcome back to Steve's RC. We're here with the all new, extremely exciting, groundbreaking, innovative Axial SCX-6. Now you saw in the intro and in the background, there's my SCX-10-3 and my SCX-24, but this is something that we've just never seen in the RC industry. And I am so excited to see what this system, what this unit will bring to the whole hobby. It's gonna be new aftermarket accessories, cool bodies, awesome scale details, accessories, everything. But guys, let's jump right into it. First things first, I didn't do the unboxing. I thought that was the boring part. You guys wanted to see it in person. I was able to secure an early model. This is not an early sample, like it's not gonna be what you see in stores. This is exactly what you would get out of the box. So this is a production unit uh, that I was able to secure for you guys to check out this review. So I was able to take it home, play with it for a little bit. And of course I might have to return it, but that's okay. Uh, <laughs> the SCX-6 comes with the DX3. This DX3 has the shift select button on here, as well as the thumb steer, which not all DX3s come with that, but that thumb steer is really handy for one handed operation. The switch on the bottom here will control the two speed transmission that's already active and on board this. It doesn't come with the dig like you saw in the SCX 103 but it does come with a two speed transmission. Of course, the DX3 is smart, Spectrum Smart enabled, so you will have that battery indicator 100%, 75%, 50%, 25%, and then it will start to blink and get angry at you when you're low. But we're in a crawler, so we have pretty good life, battery life to begin with, but it's always nice to know where you're at when you're in the field. On board, you're gonna have the BF Goodrich. These are the KM3 tires. These are licensed tires. Three piece beadlock rims. These are the black Rhino rims. These are seven inches tall, guys. Seven inches tall. Look at my hand next to that. That is a large tire. Really amazing system there. But really cool to see a beadlock tire out of the box. These are not glued, these are truly beadlocked on there. Steering angle is awesome, just like the SCX 10.3. You can see that, I'll try to get an overview here. That is lock to lock there for you guys, really nice. They do have the AR90s. Uh, these are three piece axle system down here. You do have the three link system in the front, just like you'd see on the SCX 10.3. And of course the four link, oh, this thing is so heavy. The four link in the back, you guys can get a good view of that. And you can see that juicy spectrum brushless sensored motor. We'll talk about that more in a second. To turn it on and off, there is a switch underneath here. You can see that little button right there. Go ahead and fire this up. There you go. <clears throat> now I did disconnect the lights, but it does have LED lights in the front and of course in the rear. It has the same type of driver that you'd see in the SCX 10.3 and of course the roll cage system in the back. So if you did want to trim off the top and run an open Jeep, you can do, totally do that. Uh, so that's a really cool setup there. Everything is like they just scaled up the original. They just put it in the gun and they made it, instead of a shrink ray, they made a, a big ray. <laughs> this thing is just much larger than the 10 scale version. Aluminum shocks, adjustable springs on there as well. Let's go ahead and pull this body off uh, to do so. And I've already done it, but there's body clip here, here, and one in the back, two in the back. Uh, those would be the exact same positions that you would expect on the 10 scale one. So no surprises there. If you're familiar with the SCX 10.3, this thing's gonna feel really familiar. It's just a heck of a lot bigger. So let's go ahead and pop the body off. And you guys can see they're very similar construction as the SCX 10.3. This thing weighs a lot. I'll drop it on the ground for you here. <laughs> that is no joke right there. All right, moving in. We do have, of course, the molded engine cover uh, on board, and that has gonna house your steering servo, of course, and your censored brushless speed control, that 120 amp Firma speed control on board, that smart equipped speed control, really nice system. You got the three lines here, these are your brushless power lines and the sensor line, which is right here. All this is waterproof, so you don't have to worry about that. Of course, Axial wouldn't make a crawler that's not waterproof. So all that is waterproof. They work with the guys over on the Spectrum team to create this system. Now, this is a 1200 kV censored brushless motor um, and it can be used with the optional programming box that is coupled with here. So you can adjust things like, uh, you know, drag brake and that sort of thing as well. You will be able to do that with a higher end radio with forward programming as well. Uh, I believe so. If you wanted to upgrade from like a DX5 C, you can check that out. And I know Tom on the spectrum team will be making some videos to support that as well. I'm going to go ahead and turn this off because that fan is a little loud and guys, I'm running a, 3S5000, uh, this is a 50C pack. It does have an IC5 connector, so make sure you get the IC5, that is a big one. For those of you that are not running IC5s or Spectrum in general, I would question why, but 
Um, these are really nice. This battery system is awesome. Knowing what my battery life is on my radio is huge to me and whether it's a crawler or a basher or anything, even an airplane, the Spectrum Smart System really kind of takes it to the next level. If you wanted to clip this off, you could definitely put on any connector on here and you only lose the Spectrum Smart capabilities, which would just be the telemetry type stuff. So yes, you can cut this line, nothing will happen. You just won't have that ability anymore. Some guys even cut it and tie it, tie it to the side and just use it down the road. Or maybe if they ever try to decide to switch back to smart, they can. So just as a fun fact, you can certainly switch into your battery connector of choice. I don't recommend it. Smart system is way to go. Use it as it was intended, but I get it. Most, not everybody has the same batteries. So three battery locations, one, two, and three, just like the SCX-10 III, you will be able to run because weight is less of a factor, although it will come into play. You can run three, 3S 5000s, you can run three 2S 5000s, of course you can only plug in one at a time. And it's just a cool fact, you can run all three, if you burn one battery up, switch to the next one, if you burn that up, switch to your reserve pack, because guys, you really don't want to be carrying this a mile down the trail. That is something that would not be fun. <laughs> so run three batteries instead of putting them in your pocket, you can definitely keep them on board. Uh, this has all made it up to your wild board drive shaft. They're of course scaled for the size of this. Uh, the steering servo on board, this is Spectrum's, uh, this is their S905 and it will be, uh, of course, metal gear. Uh, it is waterproof within the waterproof specs. You can't really submerge it for weeks, but it's waterproof for crawling action. Um, this thing has up to 550 ounce inches of torque at seven volts. And if you're running it at six volts, it's 537. You will also be able to run fifth scale servos here to upgrade and Axial even gives you an adapter kit in the box to run a fifth scale servo. So if you want to run a little larger servo than what's in here, this is already a large servo, but if you want to upgrade to that even bigger servo, which is typically just a little longer here, the system is already designed for it. Really cool. It does have, of course, that metal horn on board. And again, you guys can see that uh, throw there on that servo. So tons of power, of course, with anything you can upgrade, you can change uh, that out, but it is a really nice servo out of the box that they work with Spectrum on. And then in the back here, speaking of servos, this is the Spectrum kind of a 15 kilogram servo. This is SPM S614. Um, so the S614, it's 200 out, 201 ounce inch, so pretty standard size servo, but that's gonna operate your shifting mechanism. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn the truck back on up front here, let that fan fire up. I'm gonna go ahead and turn on my radio here, and I'll show you guys around the radio. So when the radio fires up, when it connects to the model, you're going to get, of course, control, but you're gonna get uh, battery telemetry in a moment. So we should get that. So we just saw it. I don't have a fully charged battery in here, but as you can see, guys, I'm around 50%. This is a pretty good indicator of where your battery's at. Now, um, so here's steering. That's locked to lock pretty fast on that. And here is the shifting servo mechanism. So when I push this button, you can see that go. Go to better view from over here. Now that servo does move a little bit, but guys, I'm not rolling. So you can roll. Uh, so we've got low speed. Oh, that seems like it's high. Yeah, and that's low, so nice and smooth. Look how smooth this thing can crawl. I don't have a very big coffee table here, but look at that. That is just butter with that censored system on there, so it doesn't herky-jerk. That is incredible how little uh, pull I'm doing and how just slow it's rolling out. Really nice. So again, two-speed transmission, no dig. Uh, you've got your main drive axle here going out to the front. Drive shaft, sorry and the drive shaft going in the back. Again, these are the wild boar systems. So think of that wild boar spline that you would see in the SCX-10 III. Same type of system, just scaled up for this. Of course, it does have the inner fender system, just like the SCX-10 III, which I love. It keeps a lot of the dirt and debris and crap out of your model. Uh, of course, we're putting these through mud, we're putting these through rocks and dust, and eventually this thing will not look as clean as it does today. Uh, I'll give you guys a better look of the rear of the model here and those big old KM3 tires. Those awesome aluminum shocks and that nice four link suspension down there. Of course, it has the steel chassis. It does have the ability to uh, change size. You can see that C channel system there. If you, if you eventually found a body big enough for it, which there isn't a lot right now, you could definitely expand upon that. But man, guys, I am impressed with this. And I know if you're anything like me, you want to see driving footage of this. 
but it is about 10 o'clock at night here on the night I was able to get this and secure it from the, uh, from the boys over at the office. Uh, but this is going to be so much fun. So hopefully tomorrow morning I can get out early and get it around some dirt and show you guys the action. But just look, <laughs> look at that. I mean, that's the, it will sit on top of the transmitter <laughs> fully uh, raked out on that suspension. Just incredible. Like this doesn't even feel like I'm like a real thing. Like this reminds me of like a toy when I was a kid that was really crappy, but now I have an axial spectrum powered smart brushless 1200 kV system that I can do some awesome crawling with. I just can't wait to see what people get into, what type of aftermarket there is. I mean, think of the winches, think of bodies, think of lighting. Everything is going to be so much bigger. Of course, more expensive, but we didn't talk about that. <laughs> this is uh, about a thousand bucks, so not a cheap system. If you're wanting to get into this, it's, it's a serious toy, but how could you not? I can't wait to see, you know, 50 of these things at Axial Fest next year with a six scale crawler course. It's just gonna be so incredible. So guys, I'm gonna go ahead and end out the overview video here. Uh, I'm gonna jump now over to some crawling footage the next morning. When you see this footage, when you see the transition, you'll be in the next morning. So guys, thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And of course, we will have that footage coming up right now.